So today, um, or right now just quickly, I'm going to show you what I'm working on for my next tutorial video in Leap Motion. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm making a heads-up display for virtual reality. Not everything's going to be a 3D object and stuff like that, and they're going to be fun to play with. Anyways, um, so without further ado, I'll just show you what I've got going on so far. So here I am in my world. Let me just reset my head position. There we go. Got my hands. So I've got it set up. So those path-through windows I showed you how to bring up, I've actually got them rendering to a texture. There you go. Let's see if, there, let's see if I can get a better view. Anyway, so they're, they're spawning all around me. Anyway, so what I've got going on now is, is be before you can actually uh, make a user interface, you got to be able to interact with it, right? So I've got it so that you can select things by pinching them and seeing that they glow. Uh, getting stuck. As long as the object is fairly big and not crowded with other things, you're able to outline them. I will show, be showing how to actually create this outline. There we go. So you can do it with both hands. It's fairly easy to do. Come on, there we go. Pew, 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 pew. It's like shooting little select boxes around. It's fun. Yeah, and that's what I've got going on now. See, and then you can deselect them. The idea being that once selected, you can move them. Because I found that um, in other leap motion thing, it, it happens automatically and you're moving stuff around when you don't really want to. Oh, nice shadow. <laughs> Put your hands in the air. Oh, oh yeah, all right. <laughs> Anyways, so that's my update for today. If you there's anything related to this topic that you'd like me to go into specifically or for me to look into, uh, let me know. Thanks. Motion functionality, you can oh, start up a new project blank tutorial and create project now this is actually fairly easy to do in blueprints uh, so what you need to do uh, first step is go edit and into plugins input device